Hi, I'm Dr. Arthur Bradley, and the other day I did a video on different RFID protected wallets, cards, and sleeves, and several people wrote and asked uh, what I thought was a really great question, which is, yeah, that all those wallets seem to work fine, but would just putting a small piece of, of aluminum foil in your wallet between the credit cards, let's say, would that have the same effect, and would that protect your, your credit cards the same way? Uh, a second question was, if you wrap the foil around the card, so sort of folded it over the card. So that's going to be plan B there. So I just thought we'd give it a test and see if that works or doesn't work, uh, and then we can talk about the results. Okay, so what we want to do is find out if, if aluminum foil will work as well as, let's say, uh, one of these special RFID cards. So I've got the Vault card here, um, which right now is my, currently my favorite uh, RFID protection device, just because it's so easy to use and if you remember from my last video, it was the only one that I found during my testing that seemed to protect under all circumstances. So we'll see. Well, let's put things to the test. We'll see how it goes here. So the first thing is I've got a, a card here that simulates a credit card, runs at the same 13.5 megahertz, and it can be read by a reader over here, which is just an Arduino system. Every time it's read, it scrolls up the little COM port text here. So you can see it's read. It can be read a couple inches away. Doesn't matter which side it is, all right? So the first question is, if I just put a piece of aluminum foil adjacent to it, can I still read it? All right, and let's give it a shot. No, you cannot. So how interesting is that? So by just putting a, a thin piece of aluminum foil, it's just standard aluminum foil, uh, in your wallet next to your credit card, it can't be read. All right, interesting. Let's turn it over and see if it could be read from the other side. No, it can't. So that worked great. So all right, that's, that's good. Let's see if we put it to a little bit more test. Let's say I had more than one credit card, all right, because in my wallet I have a few credit cards. I'm going to put the sensing card at the back, and I'll put the aluminum foil at the front, all right? So this would be the worst case scenario. Let's see if I can still read it. Ah, I can read it. Interesting. So it worked fine for one credit card, but it didn't work fine for four. Let's come down to three credit cards. Let's see how it does. I can still read it. And finally, we come down to two credit cards. I can still read it. So it was able to defeat, when it was right up against it, it was able to defeat it. I can't read it. But anytime I put the aluminum foil a spaced apart from the sense card, uh, I was able to read it. So that, um, that's not ideal unless you just carried a single card. So if you carried a single credit card, I think that would work fine. Uh, other people wrote and asked and said, hey, what if I wrapped the credit card in a piece of foil? Um, I think you're going to have similar results. You're not going to be able to read it with one. But again, now you could wrap every single credit card with foil, and I think it would work fine. But, you know, if I had arbitrarily one card wrapped and the other cards were far away from it, you know, something like this where the top card is wrapped, but I suspect the bottom card will still be able to be sensed. Yes, it can be. So again, that's not really an ideal solution. Um, it, it provides some protection, and certainly you could put a wrap around each card, and that would do fine. Um, but comparing that to, let's say, like the vault card, um, so now I could put the vault card, let's say, at the top of a four credit card stack, and let's see if we can read it. No, can't read it. And so different uh, than just the foil example, um, you do gain quite a bit of additional protection by using one of these RFID type cards. So the Vault card uh, really showed itself to be highly effective. Now there are other RFID protection cards that are less expensive and I think for many wallets they would work okay. For the standard leather wallets, um, they seem like they did an okay job. I certainly tested it on my wallet and they did fine. What was nice about the Vault card though is it seems to have some advanced technology in it that not only protects an entire stack of cards, um, but also protected in a, like a unique wallet structure. Like we looked at the, um, the, the Travex Contour with a metal frame on it, which other cards had trouble protecting credit cards in there, um, whereas the Vault card didn't. So, and you certainly saw how it outperformed, uh, let's say, aluminum foil. So I like this card enough that I'm gonna try and reach out to the vendor, uh, the manufacturer of it, and find out a bit more about it and maybe even offer it on my website, disasterrepair.com. So 
maybe they'll give us a discount or something we buy in bulk uh, and save people a little bit of money because I think it's really a neat technology um, and unlike other cards on the market I think it's got a little bit of uh, advanced technology in it that makes it work a little bit better so anyway I'll see if I can get us a discount on it you might check on my website and see uh, what I end up being able to offer it for so anyway it's really a neat experiment um, the, so the short answer is that yes aluminum foil whether it's wrapped around it or just placed between the cards would protect one card but it looked like as soon as you went more than one card uh, you were able to start reading the the distant cards from the foil so that's unfortunate whereas uh, the RFID protection devices like the vault card uh, was able to protect an entire stack of cards alright I hope that was helpful uh, if you have any other questions feel free to post them in the comments